Welcome to Live from the OR. We're very excited to finally be starting this series. I'm Dr. John Mendelson, facial plastic surgeon and medical director of the Advanced Cosmetic Surgery and Laser Center for the past 22 years. We are conveniently located in the Rookwood Tower, about five miles north of downtown Cincinnati. We have easy parking and a wonderful team here ready to help. Our visits begin with a personal consultation where we can learn more about your cosmetic goals. Tomorrow, we will officially meet Gretchen, who you're seeing here, who will be undergoing an upper blepharoplasty, which is also known as an upper eyelid surgery. So after we understand the needs of every patient, appropriate consultation and education, we're ready to go. Here's a brief outline of the upper blepharoplasty procedure. Patients come in on the day of the procedure and are taken back to our accredited operating suites where they're greeted by one of our nurses. Generally speaking, patients will receive what we refer to as a cocktail, basically Valium by mouth to help achieve greater relaxation. Once you're comfortable, you'll be escorted back to the operating room and positioned comfortably in our operating chair. Once situated, I will begin to proceed to mark the upper eyelid region meticulously. So marking the placement of the incisions is critical to an excellent outcome. Each eyelid crease, the right and the left, will be marked to achieve greater symmetry. That is, commonly, we are asymmetric. The crease is about a millimeter or two off. This crease generally is about eight to 10 millimeters from our eyelash margin. And alternating between measuring with a, what we call a pickup or a forceps and a caliper, will pinch the excess tissue make sure that the appropriate amount of eyelid tissue is removed, and we'll go over this tomorrow. Um, and then following this, once things are marked appropriately, we'll go ahead and localize. And what that means is you'll feel a tiny little injection, uh, pretend like we're numbing up a little skin tag or a little mole, and we'll begin to localize the area. The local contains lidocaine, which numbs the tissues instantaneously, and also something called epinephrine, which will constrict the blood vessels. So after about seven to 10 minutes, you'll see that the tissue is blanched. And this is what you'll, you'll see tomorrow as well. Why, why do we do that? We do that because we lose minimal amounts of blood, uh, literally drops of blood during the procedure, as you'll see. Uh, we're addressing the eyelid tissue here. We're not addressing the eyebrow tissue. And again, I'll point that out tomorrow, the difference between a brow lifting procedure, something like Kenny Rogers had along with his blepharoplasty, and what is a wonderful procedure, probably the best thing uh, somebody can perform, and that's this upper blepharoplasty. And you can see here some of the redundant eyelid skin here in Gretchen's right eyelid. Um, we're gonna be live tomorrow starting at 11.30 a.m. and we're gonna show the procedure from beginning to end. We're gonna interrupt that briefly. Over the, past five years or so, over the past five years or so, I've noticed the telltale signs of aging on my face. My Eyelids have started to droop down and get kind of heavy on my eyes. They make me look concerned or sad and, and don't necessarily reflect how I'm feeling inside. So I know with the simple upper blepharoplasty, Dr. Mendelssohn can take that off and make me look refreshed. I work on a daily basis with him in surgery. I see his patients after surgery as well. So I have a really good understanding of what's going to happen on the day of surgery, and so I'm not a bit nervous. I'm, I'm really excited to have my eyes worked on. I think one of Dr. Mendelssohn's gifts is being able to do these surgeries without them being real noticeable. He leaves people looking very natural, and um, so I, I, I think people will not suspect that I had surgery, but rather will just think I look refreshed. Join us tomorrow, 11.30 a.m. We'll actually be starting the surgery at 12.15, at noon, we'll be joined by Liz Bonus from Channel 12. Thank you.